everyone and welcome back to English with Lucy. I've got a pronunciation video for you today. No, I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> I don't. It's not a pronunciation video. Hello everyone and welcome back to English with Lucy. Today I've got an American versus British video for you today. I did one ages ago. I think it was just a video on American English versus British English. I'll put a card up here. But recently I was looking at the names of foods that we commonly mispronounce. That video will come out soon if it's not already out. And then I started to think about the differences between American food and British food and how we have different names for the same thing. So I thought I would go through that list with you today. Quickly before we get started, I'd just like to remind you how useful Audible is. Um, you can click on the link below and get a 30-day free trial, that's a free audiobook, and it will seriously help you with your listening and your speaking because you can read an actual book and then you can listen to how the words are pronounced. Reading is great but it doesn't improve your pronunciation because English isn't a phonetic language. So if you team up reading with listening as well, it will also improve your pronunciation because you can hear how the words are pronounced. The link is in the description along with some audiobook recommendations for English learners. Right, let's get on with the lesson. Okay, so I'm going to say the American word first and then I'm going to say the word that we use in British English. So, number one. In America, this would be cilantro. Cilantro. Do I need to do an American accent? Cilantro. <laughs> Dreadful. I know. My American accent is so cringeworthy. <laughs> Feel free to punch the screen. Um, in the UK, in British English, we call this coriander. Coriander. So if you're reading a British recipe book, something by Gordon Ramsay or Jamie Oliver, and it says coriander, you know that that's cilantro. Comment down below, do you love it or do you hate it? Because I love it and my boyfriend hates it and it makes meal times so stressful. The next one, I did mention this in the previous video, but I think it's important because it's related to food. It is cookies. Cookies in American English. In British English, we say Biscuits, which I understand is something that Americans, it's a sort of thing you have with gravy, biscuits and gravy, am I right there? Um, yeah, but for us, biscuits are cookies. Um, so we always have tea and biscuits, tea and cookies. Next, we have eggplant, eggplant. So the Americans call it eggplant. And I found out recently why they call it eggplant. It's because I think it's when the flowers or the fruit is growing, it does look like an egg. But in British English, we tend to call it aubergine. Aubergine, which I think is a beautiful word. I love any word with the z sound in it, aubergine. It's even sexier in Spanish though. Berenjenas, oh, berenjena. What a sexy plant, who would have thought <laughs> aubergine? Um, On to another vegetable. In America, they say zucchini. In the UK, we say courgette. It's another one of those sexy zh sounds, courgette. Both lovely words, I think you'll agree. Next, in America, they're called shrimp. But in England, we might use the word shrimp for very small shrimp. But in general, we will say prawns, prawns. So the big ones, we'll call them king prawns or tiger prawns, but the small ones that Americans would refer to as shrimp, we just call them prawns. That's actually one of my favorite sandwich fillings, prawn mayo, prawn and mayonnaise. The next one is candy. Now, of course, we would understand when you're talking about candy in America, but in British English, we tend to refer to candy as sweets or sweeties. Um, I think sweeties is a little bit more for children, um, but sweets, and, and that normally refers to candy rather than puddings and desserts as a whole. If I said, do you want a sweet? I wouldn't be offering you dessert, I would be offering you candy. Another one which goes along the same lines, in America they would refer to it as cotton candy. In the UK we call it candy floss, candy floss which I actually prefer because the thought of putting cotton in my mouth, it gives me the heebie-jeebies, it makes me feel weird. Another vegetable, a sort of salad this time. In American English, it's arugula, but in British English, we call it rocket. Bit random. 
The last two I have mentioned in a previous video. The first of the two being fries. In America, it's fries, but we would call it chips. And then in America, they would use the word chips for what we call crisps. So they're all potatoes, they're all different forms of fried potatoes. For American fries, as in McDonald's fries, we call chips. And then what they refer to as chips, i.e. hard potato snacks, we call them crisps. Crisps, which a lot of English learners tend to struggle with, the pronunciation of crisps. I hear a lot of crips going on, but crisps. Right, that's it for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. If you can think of any other food-related American and English differences, write it in the comments below. I also want to know if you like coriander or not. Let's have a vote. Comment below and let me know and share the knowledge. Don't forget to check out Audible. The link is in the description box along with my audiobook recommendations. Don't forget to connect with me on all of my social media. I've got my Facebook, I've got my Instagram, and I've got my Twitter. And I really recommend checking out my Instagram because I've got some really exciting giveaways, English-related giveaways, worldwide giveaways, coming very, very soon um, with some awesome companies. We did a great book giveaway the other day. We had some very happy winners, so I really recommend looking at my Instagram. And that being said, I will see you soon for another lesson. Mwah!